so under most circumstances socialism and communism are just used interchangeably so we don't have to like really worry because most of the time people just prefer to what you know, just use one word instead of the other one there are some occasions when um there is a difference so firstly so firstly marx in a strange little pamphlet pointed out that on the day after a revolution after a after the workers have taken power we still have are living under basically capitalist social relations we still have <coughs> alienated property we still have all of the culture is based on individuality we still have racism and sexism and so it's going to have to involve some sort of trans transition program where we transform society so we're going to have to like so for example women are oppressed because of the privatized uh, social reproduction so we have to socialize and public publicize social reproduction by having communal kitchens and so no longer will women be shoved into childcare and other sort of social reproduction areas so that it will take time to actually build those communal kitchens um, and areas like that and also for people to actually get used to the idea of actually controlling their lives and to get abandon their individuality and to like work together in more democratic forums so Oh, damn, I've run out of time. <laughs>